Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can go about finding the coordinates P of a point that divides a line segment AB in the ratio lambda to mu, where A has coordinates x1, y1, and B has coordinates x2, y2. So just as a reminder, suppose we had a line segment AB and we divided it in the ratio 3 to 2 then the point P would divide AB in such a way that you've got three equal divisions here to two divisions here. And when I compare it to what we have here, you can see that lambda would be equal to 3 and mu would be equal to 2. But we're looking now at the general case. And so to work out the coordinates P, what we do is we consider similar triangles. I look at this triangle from A to the point directly underneath P and also this triangle here from P to a point directly underneath B. And let's suppose I label this point R and this point here Q. And so because the triangle APQ and PBR are similar, then the sides will be in the ratio lambda to mu. And so since AP, when we compare it to BP, that ratio is lambda to mu. And by similar triangles then, let's just put that in, by similar triangles, what we have are similar ratios for the other sides. When we compare the horizontal sides here, we see that AQ compared with PR must be in the ratio lambda to mu. And when we compare the vertical sides, we also find that PQ, when compared to BR, that too is going to be in the ratio lambda to mu. And what I'm going to do is use these two equations, which are number one and two, to find the x and y coordinates of the point P. So first of all then, I'm going to look at the equation 1. So we'll just put from 1 here. I see that AQ, AQ here, will be x minus x1. So we've got x minus x1, and then we divide this by PR and PR, that distance there, will be x2 minus x. So we've got x2 minus x. And we can see that that equals lambda divided by mu. And then what I can do is rearrange this equation, multiply both sides by mu and x2 minus x. And that gives me mu times x minus x1 equals lambda times x2 minus x. And then I'm going to expand out the brackets and we get mu times x minus mu times x1 equals lambda times x2 minus lambda times x. And then I want to bring the x terms to the same side, so I'm going to add lambda x to both sides and I'm going to add mu x1 to both sides. Factorizing as well gives me lambda plus mu all times with x equals lambda x2 plus mu times x1. And now I can divide both sides by lambda plus mu and that gives me the x coordinate for p which is lambda x2 plus mu times x1 and that's all divided by lambda plus mu. So I now have the x coordinate for p, and I can do a similar thing to get the y coordinate for p. And I do that by using equation 2. So from 2, we see that this time we're comparing pq to br. So when we look at pq, that distance there is y minus y1. So we have y minus y1, and that's divided by br and BR is going to be Y2 minus Y. So you've got Y2 minus Y, 
and that will equal lambda over mu. And this particular equation has the same format as this one, only I'm going to replace the x1 here with y1 and the x2 here with y2. So I can go immediately to what y is. So we see that therefore y is going to be equal to lambda y2 plus mu times y1 and that's all divided by lambda plus mu. So what we have now then are the x and y coordinates of our point P. And I think it's very easy to remember because both the x and y coordinates have the same structure. All you've got to do is just take your first ratio here, lambda, and then multiply it with the second x or y coordinate, depending on which one you're going for. And then plus mu times the first x or y coordinate depending on whether you're going for x or y here and then you divide it by the sum of these two ratios. Now I've got an example that I'd like to uh, just run through with you to demonstrate this idea which you might like to have a go at before I give you the answer and here it is. We've got to find the coordinates of a point P that divides the line segment AB internally in the ratio 2 to 3, where A has coordinates minus 4, 7, and B has coordinates 6, minus 1. So do pause the video and have a go at this. OK, well, how did you get on? To get the point P is very easy. All we've got to do then is start with our first ratio here, 2, and multiply it by the second x-coordinate here. So it's 2 times 6, and then to this we add the second ratio, 3, and multiply it by the x-coordinate that you've got for the first coordinate here. So that's going to be 3 times minus 4. And then we divide this by the sum of our ratios, 2 plus 3. OK, that's the x-coordinate. We do much the same kind of thing now for the y-coordinate. We take the first ratio, again, 2, and multiply it then by the second y-coordinate here, negative 1. And then to this, we add second ratio, 3, and multiply it with the first y-coordinate here, 7. And again, divide by the sum of the two ratios, 2, plus 3. And that's basically it. So working this out, we end up with P having coordinates 0 here, and this one comes to 19 over 5, 19 fifths. Or you might prefer to just write it as P has coordinates 0 and 3 and 4 fifths. Now, if you had drawn a sketch of this, then it should have looked something like this. And you can see that the answer that we've got for P looks sensible. We've got our points A and B, and we've divided the line segment AB internally in the ratio 2 to 3. And you can see those equal parts there. And the point P then has coordinates 0, 19 fifths. So I hope that's given you some idea then how you can divide a line segment internally in the ratio lambda to mu. And in my next video, what I want to show you is how we can divide a line segment AB externally in the ratio lambda to mu.